the front line, making sure that we protect the people of Illinois. Tomorrow I'm going to a graduation of our state police cadets who have served and got, gotten their skills and training. They're going to take that oath tomorrow. A very important day. We honor those who are in law enforcement. We just saw some of our emergency medical personnel doing their jobs. We honor everyone who takes their life in their hands every day to help us. But it's very, very important to understand that policies do matter when it comes to safety. I've signed bills to deal with gun safety in Illinois. We need more gun safety, common sense yes. laws that protect the public from yes. violence. Yes. And one of those laws is banning assault weapons. My opponent thinks people should have assault weapons as they see fit. Do folks here agree with that? Do you no, agree with that no, at all? No, I don't no. agree with that. And I think the people of Illinois agree with me that we need to ban assault weapons and the high capacity ammunition magazines that go with them. This is a fundamental policy difference between the governor of Illinois, Pat Quinn, and my opponent, Bruce Rounds. I think that's what campaigns should be all about. Where do you stand on things that affect the public safety? This is a fundamental issue that deals with safety on our streets. Whatever street you live on in Illinois, you should be safe from assault weapons. We're trying to talk about something that deals with the life of people. We lost a sailor from Illinois to an assault weapon. We have seen uh, gun violence on the streets of uh, Chicago and elsewhere in Illinois yes. take the lives of precious children and uh, great people, people who deserve to live. And so I think it's important in this campaign, and that's why I'm here, not far from where I live, that to make sure the candidates don't get away with just uh, attacking their opponent and not standing up and explaining to the people of Illinois why they support assault weapons, as, uh, as Mr. Rauner did in a debate in the uh, primary. He, he had, the host of a show asked him, what is the purpose of a military-style assault weapon other than to kill people? And he just sat there silent. He says that he's for the right of people to bear assault weapons. I think we should put the assault weapons down, and I think everybody here agrees with that. Yeah. And I think it's important we stand together. On that. Governor, Governor should, should the television stations refuse to air those ads that uh, have fabricated headlines in them? There's no question that my opponent is relying on false negative ads to win this election. What I'm trying to do is focus on policies that are important to the people of Illinois. I'm never going to change from that. I'm never going to get into his approach. We'll talk about facts. The fact is, Bruce Rauner supports assault weapons. But the question Governor was, Pat Quinn does should television stations refuse to air those ads that have fabricated headlines in them? I think anything that is false, that is clearly false, that has been made up, the station should make a decision uh, to not let falsity take place in Illinois. I think uh, for candidates to run clearly false, made-up headlines is just quite wrong. Come on, Your opponent says today that this event is a platform that is a distraction from your failure on violence. He points to the early release program, problems with NRI, and says that you've not been there. Well, I think we have been there. I've signed law after law dealing with stolen guns. Uh, did that last year before. We have penalties, enhanced penalties for crimes committed with guns. Uh, I work very closely with our state police and all of our law enforcement in Illinois. We should not forget they need proper resources, proper equipment. I believe in that. I believe in a budget that invests in that. My opponent is uh, not, uh, not there when we need him when it comes to investing in law enforcement. He was on TV. He made it crystal clear that he thinks that uh, everyone has a right to bear an assault weapon, a military-style assault weapon. He said it right on TV. He said, as citizens see fit. Well, I don't agree with that. I think public safety comes before that. And that's what this movement is all about. And it is a movement, Elder uh, Michael. I, I want Elder Edie, who has been involved in this for as long as I have known him. Yes. He has helped many, many people. <laughs> Now, you said something interesting earlier about the governor. What was that that you just said uh, earlier? The thing that I said that, you know, it was rare until uh, Illinois Governor Pat Quinn came into office that we ever had a governor to come over there and support an inner city at-risk youth sports program. And what pro sport program is that? 
a North Lawndale Eagles youth elementary tackle football program. And how long has that been in existence? Uh, 1991 was founded by Coach Lattice Bass, who passed away in 2006. So you're the executive person of the, of the, of the coach? Me and player. Antoine, correct. And who was Antoine? Edwards. Okay. Now you mentioned something about this great coach, you, this guy you coached. Who, what's his name? Uh, Trayvon Maggie. He was once a participant. You know, now he's a coach. He's on board now. So Trayvon, how you like it so far? Um, well, I like it uh, a lot. It gave me uh, the opportunity to teach the kids what I learned back when I was playing. It allows me to just um, enhance their ability to not only play football but schoolwork, education wise. It's a student athlete. You always got to be a student before you play any sport with us. Uh, grades come first. Attitude got to be up to notch, um, respect, discipline. So uh, the North London Eagles program taught me that. So I, my thing is to take it back to the young kids nowadays. Just to, just stay off the street, stay in school, respect your elders because a lot of kids is like leaving, as they said earlier. So we got to keep the kids in order, respectful, and just off the part so they can just make it. You never know who might make it these days. So if they make it, they might look back on me and say, well, Trayvon was my coach back when I was playing for a while in grammar school. So that's why I appreciate Coach Charles and this program just helped me out. Now, I see you have a lady with you. Yes, yeah, she's one of our parent supporters. Um, her son actually plays with us as a now. <coughs> she chairs the parent board members. So anything you want to say on the team? <laughs> My name is Kanisha Mahone, and I'm the chairman of the North Lundell Eagles Parent Committee. And um, my son actually been playing with the North Lundell Eagles since the second grade. What's your son's name? Calvin Ingram, which is, this is him that's standing here. And this will be his last year with the North Lundell Eagles. And one thing I can say, Coach Charles and Coach Tawan, they, they, they've been over backwards for these babies. And it's nothing that we can do without them. And since you're leaving, what are you going to say to the next young person to come on board? I hope it ain't that. <laughs> your mother said enough for you, right? Okay, thank you. Ah, my defensive man right here. What's your first name and last name? Willie Coleman. Willie Coleman. And what do you what position you play, Willie? Lyman. Do you like Lyman? You know, most Lyman's are real quiet anyway. Have you met any Chicago Bears yet? None? Ooh, next Thursday, we're taking some people out to Bourbon A where the, the football training camp is going on for 9 to 11. I give you the come, maybe you can bring them out there and let them see you. Okay.